Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler, and we begin with the death of Broadway composer Stephen Sondheim. He passed away today at his home in Roxburgh, Connecticut. He was 91 years old. Sondheim was considered the father of the modern American musical. Outside Broadway's Bernard Jacobs Theater tonight, fans stood online to see a Sondheim classic, The Revival of Company, starring Tony Winners, Patti LuPone, and Katrina Lenk. Sondheim wrote dozens of Broadway musicals, a few were turned into movies, including an iconic film set in his hometown, Manhattan. I like to be in America, okay by me in America, everything free in America. For a small fee in America. Stephen Sondheim was only 25 years old when he wrote the lyrics to the landmark musical West Side Story. Before the 1961 movie masterpiece, West Side Story was on Broadway. The year, 1957. Sondheim was the young genius on the block, surrounded by a Broadway brain trust. That included Arthur Lawrence, Hal Prince, Leonard Bernstein, and Jerome Robbins. Their work would forever change musicals, and Sondheim's lush lyrics Lyrics, married to melodies would live for generations. There's a place for us somewhere a place for us. In 1959, Sondheim penned the lyrics for Gypsy for a comedic actress with a one-of-a-kind voice, Ethel Merman. Gypsy, a musical about the ultimate stage bomb and the perils of show business, was a big hit. Sondheim's approach to musical theater was groundbreaking. He took risks, and he wanted audiences to take notice. A self-described neurotic, he spoke with CBS Sunday Morning's Charles Osgood in 1995. You're right because you want people to hear your work. You want people to hear your work and like your work. But if I have to take my choice, I'd rather have them hear the work and dislike it than not hear the work. Stephen Joshua Sondheim was born in Manhattan in 1930 and grew up on the Upper West Side. His childhood friend was the son of Oscar Hammerstein, the Broadway musical powerhouse behind Oklahoma, The King and I, South Pacific, and many more. He would become Sondheim's mentor. And then Sondheim was unstoppable, writing music and lyrics, sometimes both, for some of the most memorable shows in Broadway history. He could make a song come to life. An awful lot of people have gone historically to musicals to forget their troubles. Come on, get happy. Uh, I'm not interested in that. He dared to write lyrics with a darker side. And in 1979, Sweeney Todd, the story of a barber whose customers ended up as meat pies. The musical was gruesome, funny, and a recipe for success. These are probably the worst one of Sondheim's best-known crossover songs was in A Little Night Music, a song about what to do when things are falling apart. Quick send in the clouds. The classic Send in the Clowns has been recorded by some of the biggest names in music. Where are the clowns? Critical acclaim would follow for decades, and in 1991, Sondheim won an Academy Award for writing Sooner or Later, sung by Madonna in the film Dick Tracy. Sooner or later, you're gonna be he added that to his eight Tony Awards, eight Grammys, a Pulitzer Prize, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and a Broadway theater renamed in his honor. But for this artistic genius at his core, it all came down to teachers. Find each other in crowded streets in the guarded parks. I love teaching. It's a, it's a sacred profession to me. I, I hear the word teach, I start to cry. Um, my life was saved by teachers, and um, 
It's the noblest of all professions. A revival of Sondheim's company starring Katrina Link and Patti LuPone resumed previews November 16th. LuPone paid tribute to Sondheim, who was in the audience. Stephen, <laughs> the cast of company dedicate this performance to you. A life in the theater for a musical master, an icon, Stephen Sondheim. Tonight, Governor Kathy Hochul tweeted, Stephen Sondheim was a New Yorker through and through who showed us what being alive is like. His legacy will live on Broadway, from the Broadway to community theaters around the world. Our hearts go out to these, his loved ones as we all mourn the loss of one of the theater's greatest talents. A movie version of West Side Story, a new one directed by Steven Spielberg, it's theaters December 10th. For more reaction to the death of Stephen Sondheim, visit CBSNewYork.com.